My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well In a voice memo from years ago We were laughing about some nonsense Oh how I Circumstances made it so they'll never see their faces Except for on the internet where I'll never really know What's going on behind their smile I mean I guess I could check in once in a while Ooh, I have crazy skating hair Hello! It's Halloween today uh, I wore my cute little skeleton shirt to the rink I just got home from practice the ice was terrible today we got there and all they did was pull the hockey nets off the ice and we're like there skate it was so rough so I just did my program I was like you know what I'm gonna take it easy I'm gonna take it easy I skate in the morning anyway so it's like less than 12 hours till I skate <laughs> or less than 24 hours <laughs> that's what I meant to say um but yeah, I just got home and I'm going to make a quick lasagna that we're going to be taking to a friend's house because where we live, it's a dead end street. We literally get zero trick or treaters, maybe one if we're lucky. So we're going to go to her house because she gets so many, <laughs> so many trick or treaters. She sets up a little bonfire and we're going to eat lasagna and garlic bread and pass out candy. And it's, it's so warm. It's like 76 degrees out and it is so so windy but it's very cool to watch all the fall leaves like drift down but I wanted to do a little recap of the weekend so on Saturday we went to my friend's wedding reception she looks so pretty <laughs> and her and I are very just very similar creatures <laughs> to put it simply and I was so nervous I was like okay when you see her because we haven't seen each other in so long like we keep in touch but like we haven't seen each other face to face I was like, I, you can't start crying because if you start crying, she'll start crying and we'll all start crying. And then when she saw me, I could tell she was like, okay, I can't cry. Don't cry. Because both of us, our eyes were watering and we're like, don't cry. I'm tougher than this. <laughs> but it was so nice to see her. And she uh, recently moved into a new house and invited us to come and stay and like do a little, little girls weekend, essentially. It was just so nice seeing her. I missed her so much. I, f I feel like in the past couple months of my life I've been reunited with so many people that are just sparks of joy so I'm so happy that the universe is like hey I got you but yeah it was so nice to see her and then Sunday was a nice chill day we went and saw Kiki's delivery service it was cute it was so nice seeing it on the big screen it was the 35th anniversary screening of the film um Kiki's delivery service I think is my favorite storyline of all the Studio Ghibli movies. Like, I love Kiki. I love her character. I love Gigi, her cat. I also love the artist that she meets in the woods, which I'm like, girl is living the dream. <laughs> She's just out in the woods with her crows and painting and like, such a vibe. But her storyline of losing your spark and no longer being able to do the thing you love most for, and you not knowing why and trying to find that again, it just really resonates with me. So I love Kiki. And then we did a little shopping. We went to Five Below. I got a cute little keyboard. I don't think I showed you. I'll probably show it in the in the reset vlog when I go to do my journaling. I saw it a month ago, passed on it, thought about it for an entire month. I was like, it's worth getting. It's just, It was only $10. I treated myself to that. Then we went to PetSmart. We got some cute little festive Halloween cookies that were taking me to my friend's house this evening for her dogs. Little treats. And then we went to Marshall's. I got another jar, jar, bottle, bottle <laughs> of the pumpkin pie Tarani syrup for my coffee because I ran out. Fall is not over. I need more pumpkin flavor. And I also got coconut. Coconut is my favorite flavor. I just, ooh, it's, ooh. if you see the coconut Tarani syrup, please put that in your coffee. Yeah, it's so good. It's so, so good. And then Monday and Tuesday, really good skating days. I'm really getting into a consistent place again and able to overcome my like anxiety and stuff a lot better. So that's really nice because I can just enjoy, you know, what a concept, enjoying myself. I have not gotten around to my little pumpkin craft. It's probably not going to end up being in this vlog, which I'm kind of bummed, but it's still fall autumn-y enough that I can make it and keep it up because I don't take down my Halloween decorations till 
Thanksgiving Eve, anywho. So I think I'm gonna make it anyways, because it's just gonna be so cute. But for now, I'm gonna make a lasagna and we're gonna do a doggy Halloween costume fashion show. So I hope you will enjoy that as much as we always enjoy it. It's our annual activity where we buy a bunch of costumes, see which ones fit the best and get get some giggles, get some laughs. <laughs> and then I'm going to wear my little bat onesie. I actually wore my bat onesie to work on Tuesday to coach my students in. It was very fun. It's spirit week. So we get to wear, everyone gets to wear costumes to learn to skate. So I'm going to be wearing that tonight again and probably tomorrow as well to coach all of my students. Although tomorrow I'm going to need to wear way more layers underneath in order to be warm or else I'm going to freeze my butt off. And then Saturday is the last little Halloween skating exhibition. So it'll be my last time skating to Enter Sandman by Metallica. But you'll see in the skating vlog that's coming up, we've got a new program to work on and I'm, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. And an old program that now that I can do more of my jumps, I can start putting my jumps in that program. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to shut up now because I really, I really got to hurry up and make that lasagna. We got, we got things to do. <laughs> I also want to make a little boo bag, not a basket, but boo bag to drop off at my friend's house on our way because I just want to give them the treats, you know? Enjoy the doggy fashion show. <laughs> We're living life. 
like we're in the 80s My oh my we both look so fly like sweet apple pie Yeah they want a piece of us My oh my when we drive on by They just can't deny Yeah they wanna be like us Hello, I wanted to film just a quick little outro to this vlog because I just did not have time. I did not get around to it whatsoever. <laughs> but it is now Sunday and I just finished editing all of the footage, but alas, no outro. So I'm doing it now. Um, yesterday, Saturday was my final performance of my little routine. I did it copy paste the same as I did the other time. So and I didn't bother filming it because it would be the same exact footage as in the previous skating vlog just in a different rink <laughs> from a different angle maybe that would be about about it um but i had a solid clean skate and more importantly my four students that i do private lessons with had fabulous skates i am so happy for the one it was her second time skating it and she skated it better than the first time which is fabulous and for my other two they did a little duet and it, you guys it was so cute oh my gosh they were so so cute and I'm excited to get them working on some individual programs, but I feel like a duet is a good place to start. I'm also choreographing a duet for the first student I mentioned. Her and a friend want to do a cute little holiday routine together, and I already cut the music. Very excited about that. And then my fourth student, I was so proud of her. She really came out of her shell and performed really well. She can be kind of shy, so it was very cool to see like that adrenaline boost just give her that little oomph, you know? And of course, I had to share Kaylee and Shannon's duet because it was just so cute. They're sisters and they're friends of mine and they're fabulous and it was just so fun. But it was a really lovely exhibition. Everyone did really well. It was very fun and it was a packed house. Honestly, it was like a full audience. So that was really cool. But yeah, that wraps up this Halloween vlog. As always, I had the best October. October is, I think, my favorite month. I just, I love Halloween. I love fall. I love spooky season so much. I'm a little bit sad that it's over, I have to admit, but I mean, I'm gonna keep up my decorations. I'm going to relish in it and not this Friday's vlog, uh, that's gonna be a reset, but the one after, I think I'm going to do a uh, reading goal update. I think it'll be part three, because we're so close to hitting 30 books right now, you guys. I can't, I cannot believe it. I think by the end of November, I will for sure have already read 30 books, so I'm probably gonna go past my goal. But I do feel like 30 books is a good number for me, especially since I'm starting to read longer books. I feel like I've read a lot of 200 pagers in the past, and now I've kind of doubled that to 400 page books. So, I mean, ooh. And also I want to start writing my books. I'm feeling very inspired, but we'll, we'll talk about that in the book vlog, and I'll probably do the rest of my little fall, autumn kind of Halloween crafts. <laughs> They're loosely Halloween, but they can also just be cute autumn decorations. So November is still fall. We're going to soak it up. And yeah, on that note, I will see ya when I see ya.